Another quality is this quality of modesty. Does everyone understand the difference between modesty and humility? Anybody has it a guess with that? Modesty is recognizing your own limitations. It's a bit different than humility, because humility you will have and retain even when you have no limitations. In other words, when you become a celestial spirit here on earth yourself, you will have very few limitations and you will still have humility. Modesty is understanding where you're currently at and what your limitations are of where you're currently at. Does that make sense? Whereas humility is something you will retain as a quality all of your life. Now, the, the quality of modesty is so important as a medium. Because if you develop modesty, what you're doing is you're knowing that, hang on a sec, I've still got this emotion of anger in me, with men. So anything that I channel for a man is going to be tainted with my emotion of anger towards men. And it's a modest point of view to see that. Does that make sense? So if I've got angry with men inside of me, and I'm attracting a spirit who has no anger with men at all, to talk to this person who happens to be a man, what's going to happen is their lovely message to this man will get modified through my anger with men and give delivered to this man. And if I don't understand that limitation, I'm going to be drawn into saying that actually, no, this spirit said that to you. This spirit said that to you. You've got to listen to that now. <laughs> and I actually start dumping my men anger my emotion that's unresolved within me onto this man who I'm meant to be helping. Is that a loving... It's not a loving prospect, is it? Now let's flip it over. Let's say I'm actually doing some mediumship to help a spirit. And a lot of spirits are surrounding me and there happens to be quite a few male spirits surrounding me. So they come along to talk to me. What are they going to feel from me if I've got this anger with men? My anger with men is going to be, dump, be dumping on them. It's going to be quite unpleasant for them to stay in my company, even though I'm telling them divine truth. It's going to be quite unpleasant for them to stay in my company while I've got that emotion. Does that make sense? And so they'll want to maybe leave, or they'll only be able to stay a short time, or they'll listen to you and then realise, oh, hang on a sec, she's saying a lot of that thing and stuff because she's actually angry with men. Like, it's got nothing to do with truth. They don't want to hear your personal truth. They want to, they're, they're, they're sick to death of hearing personal truth. Can you understand that? If you've listened for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years for people's truth, all sorts of truth, like, you know, like, if you, if you imagine here on earth that you investigated a hundred religions. Are you going to be very tempted to investigate the hundred and first if, if the person doing the investigation with you is angry with you? <laughs> of course not, right? Because you've already got all this emotion of just being tired of hearing this personal crap come from everybody. Does that make sense? And this is how a spirit would feel. So even if I'm helping the spirit, I need to have modesty. Just because it's helping a spirit, it does not mean you are better than them. And just because you can channel to a person who can't channel, it doesn't mean you're better than that person either. And if you believe you are, you've got a problem. That needs to be resolved if you want to be at one with God. <laughs>